Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing Do they have a crush on you? Can't wait to do this video for you guys. A lot of people have requested it and here it is. To do this reading we are going to be pulling out three cards together. If you prefer to pick uh, your piles using your zodiac signs you will find a link to that down in the description box which will take you straight to the pile picking process and you'll get to see which zodiac sign fill, fell into which pile but if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition then there are two ways to do that first is by taking a look at the picture which will be revealed in the cards uh, at the right away now or you can pick your pile using your crystals, which we will add on to it in just a moment. Okay, so for pile number one, you have once upon a time. For pile number two, you have a broom of her own. And for pile number three, you have self-initiation. If you prefer to pick your piles using crystals, then let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the blue appetite. And this is what your crystal is looks like for pile number two you have the smoky quartz and this is what your crystal looks like For pile number three, you have the Labradorite, and this is what your crystal looks like. Right, there we go. I think if I hold it there that there <laughs> magical isn't it the labradorite <laughs> wow i'm so happy i was able to finally show it properly on camera this crystal really can't do it justice it's gorgeous okay so my dear soul family these are the three cards and the three cr crystals for today's reading Please feel free to check more than one pile in case you are drawn to it. Um, you know, your intuition is your guide. You might just find more information with regards to this person in another pile if you feel drawn to several or maybe even all. Uh, I would highly also recommend you if you if you're wondering about several people at the same time you're like oh like i i have a crush on these two people and i'm wondering if these two people have a crush on me back <laughs> you know it happens sometimes and so if you want to check s different piles for different people that's also an option uh, for you in today's reading uh, and once you're ready please head down to the description box also in a moment i'm about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile and so um, if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and then uh, I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your uh, pile using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this part of the introduction was created specifically for you. And what I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And then we pull out, draw out four zodiac signs for each pile. 
Let's see what zodiac signs fall under which pile today. Right, so for pile number one, the signs are Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius. For pile number two, the signs are Cancer, Capricorn, oh, sorry, and Virgo, as well as Libra. As for pile number three, <clears throat> the signs are Aries, Pisces, Gemini, and Aquarius. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each pile today. Please feel free to pick your pile using your sun, rising, and moon. You might find them all under one pile or maybe even distributed amongst us three. And there are different ways you can do this today. Maybe you want to check out your sign. Maybe you want to go by the sign of your, the person you're inquiring about, if you know their sign. Or maybe you have a crush on two people, or maybe even three. It happens sometimes. I mean, it's a, you're still, there's still no, not much emotions per se. Uh, you, it happens, you know, when you like several people at the same time. Uh, nothing, no commitment, just a, a crush. <laughs> so you can definitely do that. Um, you might find more information about your crush uh, in another pile. So it's really all up to you. Maybe you want to pick using your Venus, if you know your Venus placement today, since, since it has to do with love. It's really all up to you. These are just different picking your pile methods, making it easier to get to your pile. At the end of the day, it's your decision, your choice. And once you're ready, please head down to the description box click on your timestamps and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at whether this person you have on your mind has a crush on you or not. This is going to be a detailed reading, taking a look at how they feel towards you in, in general, uh, what type of thoughts they are thinking about when they think of you, things like that. So it's going to be a detailed reading. And your crystal is the beautiful blue appetite and your zodiac signs, in case you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, are Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it is a general reading. There are some specific details in a general reading that may pertain to you. And at other times, it may pertain to someone else. And that's just the, the um, nature of a general reading. Okay, so you've got once upon a time. Uh, uh, sorry, my apologies. I said it the first time, once upon a time. I'm just realizing now it says once upon another time. Very interesting. The second thing I'm noticing is the number 33. And can't miss the beautiful unicorn. You do see two people, uh, two souls staring at each other with admiration. Correct? That's one thing we definitely can see in your card. But um, let's wait and see. You have <clears throat> Haven. Wow. <laughs> looking good so far my dear pile number one okay really awesome must i must say you have the uh, pertho uh, uh, mark stava which is reverse <clears throat> why did i say pertho i meant peroth uh yeah 
Peroth rune with the Markastava. Uh, with secrets, hidden truths, risks. I mean, that's starting to answer your question. <laughs> okay. You have warmth. I mean, even this is forming a heart. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be an awesome reading, this one. <laughs> Whether you want this person to have a crush on you or not, I think it's starting to become so obvious. You don't even, like, you, you, at this point, you're not waiting for me to say yes or no, right? <laughs> you have the weaver, rediscovery. You, you keep having re, like once upon another time. And then you don't have discovery. You have rediscovery. So I don't know what's the second time. And you do have two, two here. What's the deal with the second time in your reading here? Is this like someone you're re-getting to know? <laughs> I'm not sure. But there's a lot of synchronicity. The three, three, the two, two. That's another thing here as well. Ooh, you've got the musician, inspiration, gratitude. Ay, ay, ay. The cards are out of this world <laughs> for this pile. Okay, let's pull out your tarot cards to get the full story of what we're seeing here. Oh my god, man. Look at that. They're breathing emotions, this person. And look what fell there. Knight of Cups. They're like, oof. <laughs> The cup is the emotions, right? The Knight of Cups, they're like overloaded with emotions. Uh, exceeding. There's a lot. Yeah, this person really likes you, I must say. Uh, pile number one. There's no question about that. I think the cards have been very clear with us <laughs> so far. Hey, these are the other way around. What are the odds? What's going on here? Oh, apologies, pile number one. <laughs> Uh, that was my fault. Anyways, you've got the Hierophant. Look at the Lover's card. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone is drunk with love here. You do see two people who like each other, actually. One of them super drunk with love. Really, really cool. Okay. And I've got a lot to tell you with the Hierophant here. And look, it's sitting just like Vir here. And that has a lot to say. You have the King of Wands. You have the Judgment card. And you've got the Devil right there as well. Mm -hmm. The Five of Pentacles. I mean, some of you are getting back with someone. Because you can see the Five of Pentacles being fixed. Fixing something after some time of pause or not talking to each other. So it's very specific. If this is someone, after all the re-another time that you're inquiring about, this is a confirmation to you that this is indeed someone from your past, if this resonates with you, of course. You have the Seven of Cups. Oh my God, I love this reading. And you have... The Six of Cups. Yeah, see, Six of Cups, for some of you, this is someone you've known for a while. Maybe you stop talking to each other and you're talking to each other again. Okay, so where do we begin with this reading? Um, does this person have a crush on you? Quick answer to your question. Yes, 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 a million times. You can see a dragon, uh, which is the fire element, breathing a heart. So you can see there's a lot of pa passion here. There's a lot of emotions. You can see a lot of admiration. You, you know, the music signifies how they're getting into their feels, how they're, you know, because poetry and music really touches our heart to the core. So it definitely does make me feel like this person's in the feels. They're not only attracted to you, which is what we see with the devil here, they're highly attracted to you. And, and you can see it here. There, There is this idea of someone being drunk in love. Their emotions uh, are really over spilling. Which reminds me of spilling the tea. Which I want to uh, show out to you. To show to you guys. Here you have the Peroth 
Mark Stava, the Peroth has to do with the unknown, something not known. You can see here hidden truths, secrets. So you can see that this person is trying as much as possible to hide how they feel. Also, they're wearing a mask. They're not really showing you just how much they like you. So there's more underneath the what their facial features are showing you, definitely. But the Peroth Mark Stava, reverse, means something is coming out. There's something that is being um, revealed soon to you. I think uh, in this pile, you can expect very soon that the light is coming. Speaking of light, you have the goddess of awareness here, Ver. Um, and this looks to me like is a person who is very careful about not showing their emotions. Perhaps is why we see the mask there. Um, because And the reason I say that is because Ver means the careful one. In fact, uh, Ver is not very trusting. She is very good at finding the truth within the lies or what people show her and the mask, speaking of mask, of of what people are, are trying to say, the underlying meat, meaning uh, she's the goddess of awareness. And so it gives me this idea that this person is not very trusting. They put on a mask so that people cannot really tell their emotions. Um, perhaps this is why it could be a bit confusing for you. Um, <clears throat> or you're not that sure. Maybe you're, you're, you yourself has, have strong intuition and you're able to pick up, right? But in general, people aren't able to pick up on this person. They're very careful. I, I see something with the faces, like maybe they have a plastic face or they have uh, what's not called a plastic face. It's called um, a frozen face. They don't show much emotions, but within lies so many emotion and, and admiration towards you. Could they be like afraid of them, you not seeing them in the same light or they're not sure how you feel perhaps? I'm not sure yet, but something is going to be revealed to you with the judgment card. You're going to come to awareness with, with something. You're going to know that uh, they like you for sure. And I think this person feels very comfortable with you because here you have the emperor sitting very comfortable. They took their boots off. They took most of their attire off and they're sitting very comfortably in the hierophant's place. So you can see that they will still be strong and pretty collected when dealing with you. But at the same time, they're gonna be more comfortable Um and their coming dealings with you. You can see bit by bit, this connection is picking up. Uh, and it may have been rather cold a little bit with all the snow here. Uh, it could have been rather cold, but I think you're going to see that this connection is going to start picking up. And <clears throat> with the judgment angel here, truth is coming out. This is the throat chakra. I think they are going to tell you how they feel. And they're going to be honest about it because you have the Six of Cups, which represents innocence, um, good heart. Yeah, so they're really going to be honest about it. And it's going to be far more than what you expect with the Seven of Cups. It's like you think they like you this much with the Seven of Cups. It's going to be, be beyond your dreams uh, or what you expected. This person is going to surprise you with just how much uh, they actually like you when when you guys speak about it and that's why you have rediscovery this like you're gonna know them from a totally different perspective so it looks like very soon you're gonna be discovering or sh discovering or they're gonna tell you a lot about their emotions and what's going on behind the scenes you are going to find out that not only do they have a lot of emotions, but they're highly attracted to you as well. They find you very attractive. And with the Six of Cups, this is future planning. Planting the seeds. Soon also, uh, you might find with the weaving here that they have been building a lot of dreams in their minds that they're going to start taking actions on. You have you see with all of the seeds here in the palm of their hands, 
they are thinking, oh, I wish we would do these things together. I wish we would, I don't know, travel together or have, have this or do that. And <laughs> they've, they have a lot of dreams in their minds towards how they want, um, if they can, this connection to go. Um, and with the musician, you're going to find beneath that hard mask, a person who's very... Uh, I'm hearing sensitive. I was going to say something else. Um, someone who's romantic is what I want to say. Someone who's romantic. It, it, you will go from a person who has a hard, strong facade to discovering just how warm they are and passionate they are from the inside. That's so nice. All while keeping uh, their strong front it seems like it's very important for this person to keep up a strong front. Because, again, here you have the emperor sitting on the throne of the king of wands. Wow, what type of power is that? <laughs> you have the dragon here. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, you have the emperor here again in the place of the hierophant. Again, a high position. Yeah, are they going to be relaxing? For sure. Uh, but just like Ver, you can see this all these strong uh, archetypes in your reading, letting me know that this is definitely a person who likes to keep that strong facade. But at the same time, will be very gentle and warm and romantic uh, with you guys. So yeah, if we're picking up on the energy of this person and you can see with the weaving, they're putting something together. And they're putting it with so much love and so much thought and so much art as well. Maybe they're thinking about how they're going to say it to you. Maybe they're thinking about how they're going to make this a nice experience for you. There's a lot of definitely with the hands working things out. And speaking of working, you know, Piroth also is a rune of fate. And the threads here remind me of fate. So I kind of feel like part of f f like this is fated to happen but they also have a part to play with their hands kind of like they have to do something about it so it's fated that it, this person is gonna say something show you their admiration but you can see that they are putting something together to show it to you there's something about wanting to show you something impressive yeah want to display this warmth love to you for sure i think very soon you'll be some seeing something with regards to this person i'm so curious about this card once upon another time why don't we check the guidebook together and see why they have once upon another time so we have 33 card number 33 once upon another time, you, dear witch, have lived other lives, all magical in their way, each with lessons with you to this day. This is awesome. You know, this could be talking about there is an instant connection between the two of you, whether you're interested in this person or not, because it does seem like you're reawakening in another life. Like it, I get this idea that you, ha you two have known each other from another life. There's a, um, an established soul bond between the two of you. Very interesting. So often they seem far away. Unknown. Again, the idea of unknown, right? But believe. Because the wisdom of each life lived is held deep within you. So I think this is saying you might, they might not be showing it to you it's unknown it's all secrets but do trust that there has been a strong connection between you and this person from another life and you can see here in this life you're bonding in such an easy way together so do trust that this person does have emotions they were already there from another past life maybe they are re-remembering them there is this unexplainable perhaps bond in this pile and it's very strong, for sure. 
And uh, what I can see here for you that this person will be revealing something for sure with the throat chakra here very soon. They might say it in a strong way, but it's definitely going to be way more relaxed than before. And it's going to be way more than you ever expected. You'll be surprised just how many dreams they have in their minds thinking about you. It will be surprising, especially with that strong facade that they show on the outside. Yeah, and um, I think things are going to start picking up between the two of you. Very interesting reading, <laughs> my dear pile number one. So cute. <laughs> if you like this person, I wish you the best of luck with them. This is exactly what I see in your cards. Whether this person has a crush on you or not, and what are their thoughts when you do come into their minds. This was your reading, and if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful smoky quartz. And your card is a broom of her own. So let's see how this is going to fit into your reading today. We're taking a look at whether this person you have on your mind has a crush on you or not. I feel that these two cards wanted to come out for you. Uh, and if you've... Oh, we're also going to be taking a look at what are they thinking about when they think of you. Like when uh, they remember you or when you come... Uh, on their mind what are they thinking about okay so your crystal is the beautiful smoky quartz and if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs then in that case the signs for this reading are cancer capricorn virgo and libra welcome to your reading guys if these are not your zodiac signs as i always remind you please don't worry about it and do note that sometimes some specific details in a general reading may be specific to you and at other times it may be meant for someone else and that is the nature of a general reading. Okay, so that disclaimer out of the way, let's take a look at your cards. You have safety. Oh wow, looks like someone's about to fly off. Okay, speaking of flying, you've got the broom. There is an attention in this card about the broom. So, wondering yet what this is. Silver lining. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could this be talking about that liminal time between someone taking a move or that liminal time between someone seeing you as an awesome friend to someone actually starting to have their feelings flying off? I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's something entirely different. We we just got to wait and see. So you have the chiromancer here with delivering news and collaboration. Perhaps something is fated here in this connection. It's all chiromancer, witch. There's so much magic in this reading. Wondering what this is. You have the storyteller with viewpoints and control maybe they are showing you uh, sorry showing you something when in reality there is something else hmm. or maybe they're not showing everything i'm not sure we'll only find out when we see all of your cards together what this all means you have the Nothis rune with constraint, need, restriction. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, let's just keep it where it landed and let's take a look at your tarot cards. That's the only way we'll find out the whole story. So, what does this person on your mind Feel towards you do they have a crush on you what do they think about when they think of you what's going on here please thank you 
Okay, let's check out your cards. So, you have the Five of Cups. There is some sadness here. Okay. Is there some constraints between the two of you? Because we can see that this person is looking for some form of safety. Maybe before they make a move? Not sure. You have the King of Wands. The Hierophant. Gosh, you must check pile number one. Because they got exactly these two cards. So if you were drawn to pile number one, I highly recommend it. You have the Ace of Cups. Let me check something. Yes, I was right. I was checking these zodiac signs to see if some of them were from pile number one. And it's correct. Scorpio and Sagittarius uh, were in pile number one. And, and also another thing I've seen is that Gemini and Pisces are in pile number three. So for you, pile number two, if you want to get more information um, more information regarding your reading, you are invited to check pile one and pile two if you feel called to it. Okay, so you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Nine of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Third card that popped up in pile number one. These three together. You have the Hermit. Hmm. The Empress. You have the Strength card. I'm very perplexed with your reading because I'm getting different energies and I'm not sure yet how they're going to come together. So I'm sure when we when the picture... Hello, there's an emphasis on the strength card. I'm sure when the picture is complete, I don't want to push them up too much because you guys have said you don't see them. So I think that's just perfect. So, as I was saying, when the picture is complete, we'll be able to understand. So, you've got the Four of Wands. You have the Ten of Cups. Lovely. You have the Two of Pentacles. Their hands are tied with regards to something. And you have the Two of Swords. Probably that's why the Strength card kept on moving. Do you have one last card? The King of Cups. Very interesting, right? I think that's the only space left. This is perhaps where it should be. Okay, so what is going on in this pile? I would say this pile is talking about a connection that you have with someone, that you used to have with someone. Some, there's more to the story here. This is not just a simple crush that just happened. There's more to your story here. I believe with the death card in the Empress card, something has maybe ended once, maybe things were going to pick up with you guys and maybe surprisingly they didn't or something and now there is a relaunch with the dragon here and the broom a broom of her own i believe means that the now this person is going to have the strength this why this is this is a car that kept moving will have the strength to do something and i think i went too far before explaining the rest of the cards and what i'm seeing so let's Take it slowly here because there's a lot going on. You can see with the no feast, you can see constraints. Something is standing, especially with the nine of wands. Something is standing in the way of this person. Do they, do they like you? I definitely think it's a bit more than that because you can see here the hermit or rather the star card has been hit by Cupid's bow in my opinion. All these arrows to me are in our love reading are representing love, especially with the Ace of Cups. So there's overflowing love. And, you know, these uh, 
what is it called? Water flows. These five water flows in the Ace of Cups, they represent the five senses. And I believe this card, you even have five here. You, I believe this means that you fill up all their senses. It's like they like you. Is it a crush? It's definitely more than that because they like you in every way, this person. They like everything about you. I don't know why things may have ended abruptly for you. And I do believe things have somehow ended. Some maybe problems, some pain tr happened. Constraint because... Yeah, there's something that happens that is causing a constraint in this connection. Because you have Nana, and Nana is the beloved wife of Baldure. Baldura was known to be very strong, very attractive, and she's known to be very devoted to, to Baldure. So much so that when he died, and they were going to put him on the Viking ship, set him on, on fire, which is what they do with heroes and gods. Um, she couldn't take the sadness that she joined him uh, to Hila. She joined him in the journey. So to me, this is someone who's very devoted, very sad, very heartbroken about something that has ended or maybe not not gone entirely right between the two of you. They're very sad about it. Maybe things were going the right way and then so something suddenly happened that upset them. It didn't go the way they were expecting. And I think with Storyteller and the Shadow, this kind of means that maybe they don't know much about you at the moment. They can only guess by watching your movement, what you're up to, what could be going on with you. And I feel like there is a disconnect here in, in this uh, pile where they only get to put the story together of what you're thinking, what's going on by observing whatever they can see. And that's what I feel with the King of Cups and the Devil here. It's like... Um, maybe they feel like sometimes they do things that they shouldn't, but it's the only way for them to maybe get in touch with you, with the King of Cups, to connect with you. Sometimes they feel like they feel guilty, maybe like they check up on you. Maybe they ask about you behind your back. Maybe they find themselves doing things that they usually wouldn't do with the Devil card in the King of Cups. But really, it's because they are so passionate about you. And they really getting it. They really feel the sadness here with Nana in the Northeast Rune. And they feel constraint. They feel like they can't do really anything about it. I don't know what happened here. But they're very upset. Very sad. Very, very much in pain. And they don't know what to expect they can't see ahead they don't know what kind of action you'll be taking or will there ever be something between the two of you so it's beyond that with this person i think do they have a crush yes they have overflowing emotions and i believe here um I wanted to say two things at the same time, sorry. I believe here that this, you keep getting strength because and dragon, because I believe whatever has constrained this person, and king of wands and even emperor in the hierophant, they are going to find the strength to break from this constraint. Hmm. I would tell you the same thing I told pile number one with these two cards, exactly. It's that this person has a strong facade. And yeah, you have the strength card here as well. And I believe the the similar th the absolute similar thing here is that they're going to be a bit more comfortable to... Um, how can I say this? 
not deal with you in a in an official way or to break officiality a bit because that's the common thing here between the emperor and the hierophant and you do see the emperor sitting comfortably in the place of the hierophant so you can see someone's breaking tradition someone's breaking sternness someone's breaking yeah they're sitting comfortable here i think they're going to be comfortable in breaking formalities that's what i would say all while keeping a strong front so you can see the nine of wands here this is a person planning to be to be confident and to stop step up they call the nine of wands the wounded warrior so although they feel pain they are ready to yeah that's what we felt with the broom to step up to take action they're going to summon their courage to to do something now we can see that during this time where you haven't been speaking or something went wrong, where they uh, kind of tasted how it would feel like to lose you, they've learned a lot with the silver linings here. Uh, I believe your reading is saying it was so difficult because can you believe this? This is the five of cups in the background of the five of pentacles. This is awful. This is someone who's who who has totally felt it especially that it's lining up next to the five of pentacles again this energy of lack extreme lack extreme disappointment extreme sadness having to carry and push one leg after the other every single day this was brutal and painful painful and i believe they have seen so much shadow from themselves and maybe from you perhaps as well from this period of time, they were able to pick up where they went wrong with the devil card as well. And with the king of cups, they were able to also find pal pa balance. And you can see with the ace of wands in the four of wands here, there's a new beginning, a new thought, a new type of thought that this person was refusing to see before has showed up. So with silver lining here, this is, and you keep getting dragons, unbelievable. This is a person who has learned a lot from this situation. It was so bad in their experience and how they felt and how much lack they felt. They felt. They've seen their shadow through this situation. And they've, like I said, they have learned a lot and they're ready to launch. They're ready to step up, especially you can see in the five of pentacles, things are picking up, back up again. So with the hermit, this is, again, the same idea, if you can see. This is someone who has been hit. Maybe with the star, they saw themselves in a great light. You do have someone who is a dragon here. You do see the king of wands. Someone who thinks very highly of themselves. But they've been hit. So it seems like this is a person who got a wake-up call. And with the hermit, they went introspect. You see the next card, they absolutely changed and with the Empress, they change to someone who's more nurturing, someone who's more caring, someone who is more understanding. And it is them not seeing the truth, the full picture, is really what caused this constraint that you see in the Two of Pentacles here. I'm just going to push them up in case you can't see your cards fully. So this is what caused the constraint right there. It's like they tied their own hands with whatever action that they have done. But do note that this is a person who's got it hard. And ever since whatever went wrong here, they, it didn't hit them the right way. They were very sad from that time. It did hit them hard. And because of that, they have transformed greatly. And you will find this person to be more nurturing and loving and moving forward with the Venus and, of course, the Empress here. Wow. I think that um, this person at the moment is thinking of finding a safe environment to break that code. But they're definitely launching and they're waiting for their opportunity. But with a broom of her own, it's like they're just waiting for the right setup to own up 
and create that opportunity for themselves. But they're just looking for that safe, I believe, environment to make that launch. Mm. Mm. Yeah, collaboration. I believe there will be communication between the two of you. If you hear any background noise, my apologies, guys. This is my dog. <laughs> and uh, I, he's sitting with me today. Okay. So, yeah, look at need and the five of pentacles need and the five of pentacles need this person. I mean, it's not right to need someone, but uh, this is the energy that we're reading. Uh, I believe that this person really needs you. That's the translation of the cards, the literal translation. This person really needs you and it's really getting it hard. And I didn't think we were going to get into all of this energy because we're doing a reading about a crush. But it seems like this person is has emotions for you more than that more than a crush um, yeah i think they've really gotten into the feels here in fact if we're talking about emotions you have the ten of cups which is a card of being elated being happy uh, it's also a card of happy family so they really feel like they are happy with you they feel like there is a bond a strong bond um, between the two of you, at least in the heart. They feel very bonded to you. That was a really interesting reading, my dear pile number two. And this is exactly what I see as the energy of the person you are inquiring about. Look, you've got Venus here, Venus there. I think there's going to be more romance, more nurture, more love coming up in this connection. Uh, yeah, for sure. And my dear pile number two, there is a new beginning here with this person. I wish you the best of luck if you like this person. <laughs> if you don't, well, at least you know what's going on in this connection. And my dear pile number two, thank you so much for tuning in. This was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Labradorite. And if you've picked your pile using your card, then, uh, well, this card, of course, is for everyone. Uh, we're reading with cards today. So you have self-initiation. And if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, um, your signs for this pile are Aries, Pisces, Gemini, and Aquarius. Welcome to your reading, guys. Please remember that if these are not your zodiac signs, these are extra details in the reading. And with a general reading, some details may resonate with you. And sometimes they're just meant for someone else. And that is um, the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let's create space for your reading and find out, does this person have a crush on you? We'll also be taking care, uh, taking a look at what thoughts they have when they think of you. So you have curiosity. Okay, that's nice. You have... The Ansus Markstava. So this is the Ansus rune reverse. You have miscommunication, lies, misunderstanding, and you have Groa. Okay, the goddess Groa. Right. You have, I think, okay, I'll hold my thoughts for now. <laughs> you have the king with control, reversal, uh, reversal of fortune. Okay, yeah, we're not going to put any cards down there, so let's keep it like that. You have the wise one with tradition, order. And you have individuality. Whoa, very interesting. I, I think this fell because it looks like this finger is pointing towards that card. Very interesting. Right. So let's take a look at your tarot cards. This is the only way. Uh, 
in which we'll find out what this person is thinking about. You know, in pile number one, perhaps this is why you have one. I think you should check pile number one out. Oh, this came out, so let's take it. Uh, and in fact, this uh, card popped up in pile number one as well. Not just because of that, because the spiders, they build webs. And in pile number one, there was a hand cr creating a web or creating something with thread. Weaving something with thread. So I highly recommend check for you to check pile number one if you're called to it. Okay, so you've got the seven of cups. Wow, the, sorry, apologies, the Eight of Swords. You have the Star card. Hmm. The Tower card. Ah, I'm getting a very interesting feeling with the Tower card. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Interesting. The Two of Wands. And these are also the Two of Cups figures. What is going on there? You have the Devil card. This is the Fool in the Devil card. You've got the Six of Wands. The Five of Cups. What's going on here? <laughs> Let's take two more cards down there. You've got the Eight of Wands. There is a, an insistence on someone being stuck. Because you have this is the background of the Eight of Swords. Uh, sorry, this is the background of the Eight of Swords. And you've got the Eight of Swords there. And you have the Page of Swords. What is going on? Did you catch this person lying or something? Because you've got mis miscommunication or lies or misunderstanding. Very specific detail. <coughs> but I thought I should mention it here. So, does this person have a crush on you? I would say yes. Because here, you've got the star card and the tower card. I'm getting this idea of someone getting electric shocks uh, when they see you i feel like <laughs> this is someone who looks at you finds you to be a dream to them and instantly gets <laughs> um, electrocuted or shocked or like you know that uh, strong emotion you feel when you have a strong crush on someone it seems to me like they can't make a move the sword is breaking here I'm not sure, but you do stand out amongst the crowd uh, with this person, for this person. They act here with the seven, because this is the background of the seven of swords. So you can see someone's hiding something. I feel like uh, here, they internally, they feel one thing on the outside. It's another story. They're like trying to keep it together. So they're not showing it. But with the pentacles falling, slowly with the seven of pentacles, it, 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 their emotions are being revealed to you. I mean, you can pick up here and there about how they feel. <laughs> to me, with the wise one, I'm getting this strong idea that to this person, you are the one, in fact. And this is coming again pretty strong for a crush reading <laughs> i said this in another pile but uh, yeah the the actually the emotions are coming pretty strong here something happened with the two of, uh, the two of cups here a cup has been dropped and someone left and you can see with the two of cups here it's supposed to be a card of harmony but here it's a two of wands with an x it's like maybe you walked away maybe you stopped responding to them Maybe <clears throat> you took a step back. Maybe there has been some miscommunication or you think there are some lies or maybe there was, I don't know, perhaps some lies that happened. You, it seems to me, at least from the energy of this person, since we're taking a look at what they're thinking, 
that they wanted to offer you something. Something was moving with the Eight of Wands and it stopped, halt, halted with the Eight of Swords. So they feel they're thinking that they wanted to offer you something. They want. They thought they were picking up some communication here from you that just suddenly stopped. There is an X, there is miscommunication. Perhaps you two are not talking at the moment. Hmm. Some misunderstanding happened. And with the Ansus Markstaba in reverse, there's like no channel here anymore. There's no channel. The channel that you used to communicate through is not there. Does that mean you blocked them? Perhaps it could mean that. Or you're just not giving them a chance. And there's something also common here with self-initiation, especially with the fool within the devil card. Um, I feel like they're tempted with the devil card to initiate something. See, self-initiation. They're tempted to maybe connect with you again. They're going to be doing it slowly with the background of the Six of Swords. Hope They're hopeful to make a natural transition. Perhaps they believe with the Six of Wands that they're going to be successful if they calmly shift that energy between the two of you from something, from a harsh no or a halt to th the waters running again between the two of you. And this is the card, this is the same card in reverse. Look at that. See, there's a reversal of a situation. Here is the Eight of Swords in the background of the Eight of Wands. Here, it's the Eight of Wands in the background of the Eight of Swords. With the, with the background, sorry, of the Eight of Swords. So they're the opposite cards. This is the Eight of Swords... And it's supposed to look like that, just with the swords. This is the Ace of Swords, and it's, uh, sorry, this is the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is supposed to look like that, just with the wands. My point being, what I want to say, <laughs> is that this person is thinking of shifting the situation from being hindered, from being stuck, to... It moving, the water's running again. You can clearly see it here with the devil card and the fool. They're really tempted to begin anew. And they want to initiate this. They want to be the one to initiate uh, this for sure. Because at the moment with the five of pentacles and the five of cups, here you can clearly see they are feeling the lack and with the Five of Cups, they're very sad. They're mourning. The Five of Cups is crying over spilt milk. They feel like something has spoiled, something has gone wrong, and they're really, quote, unquote, out crying for it, over it. Or to say it in a better way, they're really sorry for it. They, they're really sad over this, what they believe is a great loss. But they're really trying to be wise about it. Yeah, that with the wise one. We can see here also with the curiosity, they're thinking of building a network between you, you two, which in my opinion means connection. Maybe this is online. They want to connect with you online because a spider builds a web and the web, of course, reminds me of the internet. So maybe they're finding a good opportunity to communicate online or through messaging, perhaps. Very specific detail, but I am seeing it. Maybe they're trying to clear up the misunderstanding and they want to perhaps show you how special and unique they really see you, how they see you in their eyes. So with Page of Swords and the Fool again, expect communication from this person and expect something stuck that's going to start moving very quickly. At least they're going to try to do that should you accept this energy. And they're going to be very smart about it with the background of the Seven of Swords. It, this is the energy of someone sliding into your DMs or surprisingly getting a message. It's also going to be very smart because they're, you're really going to f realize that they've found a smart opportunity to 
talk like there's a lot of thought into that it's gonna be obvious to you but it's still you're still gonna at least appreciate uh, the intelligence or the effort if you like them maybe you're gonna go <laughs> right <laughs> it depends on how you see this of course but yeah I mean, with the Seven of Cups, not only does this person have a crush on you, this person holds you in high regards. And this is the background of the Seven of Wands. They find it very challenging at the moment, but they're willing to step up because this person is standing on a high plateau. And because the reason for that is because with the Seven of Cups, you're, you, to them, you are maybe out of their league beyond what they would dream for someone and you mean so much to them you are that unique person to them that they would go over and beyond to maybe whatever this is embarrass themselves uh, be afraid step out of their comfort zone do what is necessary to reconnect and, and build something again with you with the spider here hmm. and yeah you're gonna see that this person will initiate something for sure very soon uh, to reconnect with you the sword here is being broken and you have lies did this person lie to you are they like gonna now say the truth what's let's let's find out here what's going on can we get more clarification for these two cards together please ah this one okay what's going on here did they lie to you or was there a miscommunication or what is that page of wands nine of cups boy <laughs> this person is like drunk in love with you what is up here <laughs> okay so what is this then what is this then um I would say with this intoxication, you know, it reminds me of when someone is intoxicated, they're not in their right mind. They're not thinking clearly. They may say things that they regret later. So perhaps they said something harsh that broke things off that you didn't like. And I think with the sun figure in the page of wands the intentions weren't bad that seeing the two together it could be that this is a person who yes didn't do something right weren't in their right mind when they did it but they don't have with the with the child here horrible intentions it could have been something wrong but it didn't come from uh a mal intention place. Maybe they didn't act right or communicate right. That doesn't mean that uh, you should not keep your boundaries or not at all. I'm just like translating the energy here. It seems like there was a miscommunication, maybe a small lie with this small child. They thought it was innocent. It didn't turn out to be innocent, you know. I, I've in all cases, it does come from a place of being drunk in love, I would say. Like from deep emotions, they didn't act right. They thought something was innocent, especially with the Page of Wands and the Sun figure. And it didn't hit right with you. You did not like it. So that's what it means here. With some, some action or some spoken words not said in the right way or maybe lies did break something between you maybe it broke trust maybe it broke trust between the two of you mm. so very quickly 
let's check how they're gonna approach you and when. How are they going to approach you and when? Okay, this one wanted to come out as well as that one. Okay. So, how are they going to approach you and when? Wow, Ten of Cups. Some of you may have like a group together. So, if this is internet, maybe you have a group chat together and they're gonna talk to you through it. Um, let's, let's continue and see first. Four of Wands. This is the Four of Swords in the background of the Four of Wands. Something was at rest that is going to level up. Strength card. Three of Wands. And you've got the Seven of Wands. They're going to be patient to do it right. Patient to build it right. So... When I would say a strong right away, because the Three of Wands is embarking on a new journey, right away, but it's like the intention is to do it right away. But they're going to take that, implement that intention patiently, observing for the exact right time to do it. So that's in terms of timing, which we separated here from the how. There is like a strong intention to go right away, but the implementation will, it's just, it's like they're already implementing it, but waiting for the right opportunity. And so if the right opportunity presents itself now, you might even find them messaging, messaging you now, or whenever that opportunity is that they're, they're going to like jump right into it. That's for sure. In terms of the energy of your cards. Now, how is that going to happen? There's a step up with the with the four of wands. This is the background of the wands. They're going to step up. Self-initiate. How? They're going to step up. Meaning that they're going to do it through courage. Uh, and they're going to do the right thing. So there is someone stepping up to their word. Or stepping up to how they feel or showing up as they should. How? With the family here, there's something shared between the two of you. They're going to use something that is in common between you and them. So if you're working on something together, then in that case, they're going to use an event or an occasion where you must communicate for that shared. If you have, I don't think this is a crush reading. I don't think you're inquiring about an ex-partner with a crush. So I was going to say if you have children with this person, then that would be the occasion. But then I thought the reading is about a crush. So oh, you never know. Perhaps. Uh, but something shared like maybe you are together on one platform. They're going to use that sharing tool to connect with you. That's another thing that this card would mean in the context of this reading. Yeah, they're going to uh, use something shared in common that connects you to make a move. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing, my dear pile number three. In terms of timing, like I said, it's already, like, the intention is already there. They're just observing, you know, for that move to initiate everything. And my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading. Very interesting <laughs> energy. I wish you the best of luck with this person if you do uh, like them. If, no, if not, you know uh, what's going on. Um, so that you can make better informed uh, decisions of how you want to deal with this person. And this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it, my dear pile number three. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. By the way, there is a card that just fell on the ground and I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna like take a look at, at it. And then I thought, why? This is pile number three. Hold on. Let me check out this card that just fell <laughs> on the ground and see what this card is. You have the Uruz Merkstaba. Merkstaba. Again, the um, Uruz... Oh, oh, this is... Sorry, sorry. My apologies. <laughs> oh, did Uruz come out in pile number one? I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Or maybe it was... Anyways, let's not get into that. You have the Uruz Markstava. It uh, means in reverse. <sighs> Talking about stagnation again. I think there's a final message here of something greatly healing in this connection. Something that was weak. Uruz Markstava is like something healing, something building up the strength again, something picking up. There is definite, there is more to come with this connection. There is growth and healing. And um, perhaps this is suggesting that this person is truly healing and growing. With self-initiation, they're growing as a person. Mm, they're growing as a person. My dear pile number three, this was your reading and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, please don't forget to um, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this reading. Subscribe and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.